came from a very big family, five children. I came from a family of seven children. And our families were very important to us and we were very close to our families. When we decided to have children, we always wanted to have a big family because we had such a good thing growing up with that. We wanted to share that too and we wanted to share our families with our children. Well, Timmy was a New York City firefighter and he loved his job. He was very good at what he did. In 1998, he was injured in a very bad house fire in Brooklyn uh, where the, they were on the second floor of a, a house fire and the floor gave way and there was a collapse and they fell into the first floor, which was pretty much a burning inferno at this point. And he just started to pray and he started to pray the Our Father at the top of his lungs. And the other firefighters that were pinned also, you know, told me later they remembered him praying uh, out loud to everyone. Um, unfortunately, two of those firefighters perished in that fire, and Timmy was burned over 38% of his body with uh, second and third degree and fourth degree in some places on his legs. The night he was taken to the hospital, they put him in an ambulance, and our good friend Mike, who's a fireman, got in with him, and Father Michael Judge, who was a Franciscan fire chaplain from New York City Fire Department, um, climbed in the ambulance with him as well. Our friend Mike took a rosary out of his pocket and placed it in Timmy's hand, and the three of them prayed the rosary together in the, in the ambulance on the way to the burn center in New York. This was how he lived his life every day. He believed in God. He believed God was with him in what he did. You know, he prayed for the right choices. He prayed to make the right decisions in life. And he prayed to be brave. And within three years, he was approved to go back to work full duty. And they promoted him to captain in September of 2001. Um, and he was working his second tour as a captain on September 11th. He always called, and when things were on the news and things happened in the fire department, he would find a way to call or get a message to me that he was okay. And I didn't get a message that day. You have a second plane into the other tower of the tower of the train set of major fire. What? Okay. Manhattan calling call for David. Call for David in Manhattan. All right, be advised, you're in front of the second plane. C3, I made the collapse in one of the towers. I remember having this overwhelming feeling that I had to sit down. I almost fainted when I saw that tower collapse on the news. And I, I can't explain it, but I felt a disconnect. Like, I had a feeling he was gone. But it was the most difficult thing. It was the most difficult night of my life to ever have to tell my kids that. Um, but I knew um, that I had to, I had to find hope. There were a lot of people out there that were gonna need hope. And I had to find a way to raise our children the way that Timmy and I set out to raise them together. I remember shortly after Timmy's funeral going to a funeral of a good friend of ours, another firefighter. And somebody came up to me after that funeral. And I remember kind of walking around like a zombie in those days and just going through the motions. And you couldn't believe you were at another funeral. and. And I remember a fireman coming up to me and saying to me, you know, it means a lot that you come to these funerals 
And I thought, there's hundreds of people at this funeral. Why would that, you know? And he said to me, you don't understand. It gives people hope. If you could come here and be here, we could all come here and be here and move on. And I'll never forget that because I thought that's such an important thing. And I thought, where do I get my hope from? Like, how do I have hope? Because I was heartbroken. But I think the hope came from my faith. And I can remember days just trying to get through hour by hour and saying, if this is your plan, you got to help me out here. <laughs> and he did. And, and we got, we got through it and we tried our best to help others go through it. You know, family's not, it doesn't have to be the conventional, you know, family image that that sometimes society portrays. Family is people that love each other, that have a common bond or common beliefs, common faith. Um, and we're, we're really, really lucky to have all those in our life. He looked at his job as a firefighter as a vocation in his life. He truly felt this is what he was supposed to do in life. He would preach forgiveness all the time to the point where people would want to choke him, you know? But he knew that in order to be happy in your own life, you had to be able to forgive and to be forgiven. It's so simple, but it was so, it, it changed so many lives, you know? And, and, you know, Timmy's testimony, praying the Our Father in the, in the collapse, I can't tell you how many people came up to me over the years and said that it it changed their life. Like they never prayed and now they pray, you know, or I never went to church, but now I go to church and I bring my kids to church or, you know, and it's just very simple, very simple. And he didn't set out to do that, but it, in living his life the way he did, he set an example for people and he made a tremendous impact on people.